you're watching AM TV Live. Again, that's every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 to 2 p.m. Pacific time or 1 to 2 p.m. Arizona time. Make sure to get this out to your friends and family. Take it to the real world, most importantly, and thank you for your tremendous support. All of you that are supporting our on-demand channel at $4.95 a month, $49.95 a year, you are supporting us our crew, our team, our infrastructure, and I am so, so thankful, and I'm gonna to continue to emphasize that for as long as I need to because it's important, and you are the tip of the spear as we go to war with the mainstream media. I wanna to go to some questions. We've got quite a few here on Facebook and also YouTube. I got a question that said over the break, what is Hillary Clinton's strategy? You know, what is this political strategy of Hitlery? People usually don't like when he's like, Christopher, don't call her Hillary, you know, call her Hillary. You don't want to, you know, say, you know, Hitlery. That's just, you know, so crass and so extreme. Well, really don't think it is. We know, for example, to answer this question, that Hillary's primary strategy is to play the woman card. That basically she has a vagina. And I can say that over the air, I believe, even if we're streaming on FM. She's got a vagina, folks. A vagine? You know, what is Hillary, or what is Oprah call it. I can't, I can't even remember at the moment. She's got kind of a funny name for it. But she's basically running on her vagina, which is one of the th reasons I think she wins. And she probably partners herself with another vagina. There's some truth to this. You know, again, it's not politically correct for me to say this, but it's the truth. So she's definitely playing the woman card. Check. She is playing kind of running, you know, that's a historical event, never been done before. Just like Barack Obama was the first African-American president. Remember the tears of Oprah, you know, just bawling her eyes out. And then right after he gets elected, he launches more drone strikes than George W. Bush ever did. Fact. But you don't, you know, see her bawling her eyes out over that. Lately, and this just happened over the weekend, probably to drop a giant smoke screen on her own problems, which makes up the email scandal, is running on the fact, taking a hit at Donald Trump, that he's an anti-Semite which is very interesting how this is being skewed in the mainstream media. Hillary Clinton's campaign calls Donald Trump star of David tweet anti-Semitic. So let's think about this for a moment. First off, did Donald Trump tweet this himself? I would say that there's a strong likelihood, no, that his handlers did, which begs a question, was it intentional or was it engineered? I actually asked you guys this via Twitter and most of you said you think it's engineered, which I think there's a good argument there. Even if we played the flip side and it wasn't, it could have just been a sheriff star and a mistake. What's important to note is that Hillary Clinton is using it because that's how low she is. She's at the bottom of the barrel. Again, her political operative suggested that she had a child in the name of Chelsea, so it would make her look less like Satan. Seriously. So she's playing all of these cards. She is using Donald Trump's politically incorrect nature against him is very lowbrow. It actually tells you something about her integrity and also her character. She's playing the woman card. She's playing the anti-Semite card. And it's very similar to what we saw in 2008 when Barack Obama ran on his first term as President of the United States playing the race card. And not that there's anything wrong with that. Anybody can be president, male, female, woman, polka dot, black, white, any religion, Muslim, uh, Christian, Catholic, Jew, it doesn't matter. But what's interesting to make of this is to see how they play this in and spoon feed it to the American people through the mainstream media narrative that makes up CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC.